Hi friends, welcome back to SQL with Ravi Martha. In today's session, we'll learn a couple of tips and tricks in SSMS, which is SQL Server Management Studio. Let's check it out. So if you want to open SSMS, just go to run and type SSMS and click on OK. So which will open SQL Server Management Studio. So it may take some time to open. So this is how it pops up and then click on your the server name and it gets connected. So this is the object explorer. If you want to pin the object explorer, this is the button. You can click it on. So it will pin the object explorer now. If you want to unpin it, just click it again so that it will hide. So this is how it gets pinned. Right. The next point is if you want to open the new query editor, just click on this new query. So this which will open a new query window or else we can just use the keyboard shortcut which is control plus N which is for a new window. So this opens up a new window. Right. And to write your query you can start typing your query TBL employee I'm writing. So TBL employee and I'll make a couple of entries to this one. If you want to move your queries towards right, just select that queries and tap the tab button. So which will move the queries towards right. So if you want to move them towards left, click on shift plus tab, which will move your queries towards the left. Right. The next one is if you want to select your queries, usually we select from the bottom or the top, right? And this is the easy way to select your queries. So just move your mouse pointer towards the gray ribbon. Once you move towards the this yellow line, it will turn to right. Click your mouse button and drag it down so that it selects all the queries in between that range. So this is easy way to select your queries. Just go here and select your queries. Currently I'm selecting these two queries. Click execute. So these uh, queries got executed and this is called result set pane. If you want to hide this particular result set pane, just click here, click the control R button. So which will hide your result set. If you want to show it again, press control R again. So which will show your result pane. If you want to select your queries, you can also click here and press shift plus up arrow which will select your uh, selected range. If you want to deselect shift down arrow that would deselect your rows. So if you want to add a breakpoint to your SQL queries or if you are debugging a stored procedure if you want to add a breakpoint at this particular line go to this gray pane gray ribbon and click the button. Once you click the mouse, this red button appears here, which means a breakpoint. If you want to remove the breakpoint, click it again. So which will remove the breakpoint. Let's see how to edit rows vertically. Suppose if I want to replace the star in these five queries with employee ID, the easy way to do it is go to that particular first star and click on the alt button and left click the mouse and then drag the selection from here you can do you can select the right side or the left side and you can start editing also so if you want to replace the star with employee ID you can start typing now by releasing the mouse and the alt button employee ID employee knee and if I want to remove the star, just click on delete. And if you want to remove the selection, just click on the pane. So this is how we can edit the queries vertically. The next one is how to compare the uh, two SQL windows vertically as well as the horizontally. So if I have a dev version of code here, and I want to compare it with production version. So I'm opening a new query window. So here I have production 
version so if i want to compare it vertically just go to the the title of the query editor window and click on the vertical tab group click on it then it will divide the ssms into two vertical windows so that you can compare your queries side by side and if you want to go back to the previous state right click and move to the previous tab so that's how we can do it so this is the way we can uh, compare the data vertically if you want to do it horizontally just go to the title window and press the new horizontal tab right so here we can see the two query editor windows horizontally so this is the dev version and this is the production version i can compare the code if it is different so this will be easy uh, when comparing all the two environment codes or a stored procedure right so if i click again move to the previous tab so it will go back to the previous state so let's recap what we have learned in this session so let's recap what we have learned in this session so the first one is to open the object explorer we just need to press f8 or we can even select it through the view menu the second one is if you want to open the new query editor window just press ctrl n which will open the new query editor window so how to select uh, your queries if you go to the the easy way to select queries is that if we can go to the gray ribbon and then select the queries using the mouse pointer next if you want to shift the rows select the queries and press the tab button if you want to move the rows towards left select the queries and press shift tab the next one is if you want to hide or show result set just press ctrl r if you press it again it will hide so if you want to edit the rows vertically just place the mouse cursor at the position where you want to edit the query right and then uh, hold the alt button and left click the mouse we can select the range towards left or right or we can even edit start typing after selection so it will edit your rows so how to add a breakpoint in sql server so go to the gray pane and click give a click so that it will create a breakpoint so if you want to compare the rows vertically just go to the title window query title window and click on the new vertical tab group so that the two editor windows will be shown vertically if you want to go back to the previous state move to previous group tab you know just click on this option if you want to do it horizontal way just click on the horizontal tab group and if you click the same thing the move to previous group tab it will go back to the previous state so that's all for today thank you for listening have a great day